jump. We've been putting this couple through some amazing training today. <laughs> <laughs> they thought it'd be easy to be Muay Thai fighters. Let's see how it works. I like it. It's a natural bad one to Jenna. Uh, I'm not a fighter, I'm a lover. <laughs> That'll be our next video. <laughs> I think it's easy to be a lover. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Bobby. I'm Megan. Welcome, Bobby. Hey. Welcome, Megan, to Hidden Valley Mixed Martial Arts. Thank you. What are we going to be doing today? You're going to be do, doing a little bit of Muay Thai. Muay Thai kickboxing. You ever done anything like that before? I've never done anything like that before. Well, we leave you in the competent hands of Ignacio Riveros and Larry Gomez, our head Muay Thai instructors. Welcome to Hidden Valley. Oh boy. <laughs> Think it's easy? <laughs> but if you close your eyes. A little warm up. What do you want? For the, right for the regular guys, 100 burpees. Okay? For you guys, 50 each. As soon as we're done with that, we're going to go with a couple of rounds of uh, rope, jumping rope. Then we'll go to the back. Okay? For those of you who don't know what a burpee is, I lost count. I have the worst push-up form of all time because I didn't expect to do something like this like right as we got here. Yeah, I'm 20 in and I'm spent, like 20. 20, that's it. And these guys are doing 100. These guys are do 100. They told us to do 50 and I like didn't even do half of that. They said if we were taking the class normally, we would have been kicked, like legit kicked. <laughs> and also, I cheated because I wasn't even doing no push ups because I was all, uh uh. I'm winded already. Should have brought water. Yeah. Need water. Alright, guys, we're getting all nice and wrapped up. Megan is getting her finished up right here. We're all nice and prepared. Here you go, you ready to go? Up next. Megan and Robin, Bobby, and Lizzie. So all of these defending, and then you start throwing kicks and out blocking. Yep. For a full round, and then you guys switch. Okay? Let's go. And make sure your toes are pointing toes down. Toes are pointing down. Okay? Just the exercise. Very simple. Good? Pull the block. Okay. So is the idea to wear out the opponent faster than you? Or the idea is to protect your body. Okay. You want to sustain the less damage. Right? So right. you can actually continue fighting. Remember, Muay Thai is not a self-defense system. It's a sport. National sport of Thailand. Okay. Okay? You fight in the ring, uh, three minute round, basically there's a rule. Okay. You want to be able to last the three rounds. And part of it is blocking, you know, defending yourself. Blocking kicks in case you get kicks. You no, know, my body, right, my, you no, know, form. Again, form. The top fighters have shins that are completely calcified all the way through. Wow. So it's like kicking a cement wall. They're not going to break and they hardly feel the pain. That's crazy. Yeah. How long, how long have you been doing this? I've been, been doing kickboxing for about, say, 15 years. 15 years? Yeah. I did martial arts when I was a little kid. And then 
I evolved into you know kickboxing, Muay Thai, we do karate on the side. There's a few days a week that we do Kyokushin karate that is basically uh, bare knuckle okay. fighting. No gloves, all the uh, strikes are neck down, no protection, no gloves, no wraps, no shin guards, no nothing. That's fun. <laughs> He's like, that's fun. You can't, you can't. <laughs> that sounds crazy to me, but to him, I mean, that's... Yeah, it's fun, it's fun. It's fun. Okay, so let's start working. So you've been doing this for five years? Yep, five years. I got you into it. Uh, have you ever heard of a movie called Ang Bak? Yes. Yeah. Movie's dope. Oh yeah, that movie. He just flying like, knees, flying elbows. Like I saw it, I was like, oh, I gotta learn that. And sure enough, now I'll be flying elbows and flying knees. <laughs> did you come here first, or did you go somewhere else? I went to his house. My I went to my trainer's house and then trained for three months, and then I just bought a flight to Thailand. And spent three months in Thailand training with my trainer. That's amazing. So that's training really with, cool. Training with the very best that's in the world. Mm. Action. So you've been doing this for just over a year. It's a year in August. So it doesn't get does it get any easier? Not really. So the things get easier, but there's always more to learn, and they push you harder the more you learn. So, uh -huh. no, <laughs> it doesn't ever get easier. But your do body your... conditions and okay, that's my next question. Like, do your bones get used to being whacked? They do. It's, you, you do this on a regular basis. It conditions. Uh, that's why I asked you to go harder because if it hurts now, then my bones will get stronger, and the next time it won't hurt as much. That's so crazy. What's the hardest thing that you've had to do? My yellow belt test. Um, I did that last week, actually. Um, yeah, we started out with a two-mile run outside. Uh, I had to do, I ran all the way to Reims and back. Um, and I had 20 minutes to do it. Which, wow. my fastest mile was 12 minutes. So, I had to do it two miles in 10 minutes each. That's crazy. 10 minute mile. How long did it take to train to, to get to that limit? The whole time I've been training. I've been training for six years different martial arts. I've just been doing this one since I well, That's crazy. And you fight men. Well, spar with them. Yeah. Because women are soft. <laughs> and I like to go hard. <laughs> That's so, so cool. Men are easier to train with. She's a badass. <laughs> I bruise like a banana, so I'm, I'm curious to see how that will turn. so cool, though. I want to be strong. <laughs> I found a new role model. <laughs> I want to be strong, too. Did you get whacked? Yes. I can whack you. Yeah, let her whack you. I'm good. You'll get whacked for sure. She's tough. I'm good. <laughs> the, the boys went easy on you. <laughs> Guys, I just want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Guys, you guys are monsters. Thank you. You guys are monsters. You guys are more than welcome to come back anytime. With all the cameras. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Hey guys, they really want to lay in though. So that's yeah. Come with the GoPro. Come with, go with the GoPro. This is right here. All right, I'll, we'll put it on my head. And... <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you guys. So. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you guys. So Bobby, Megan, what'd you think? It's not easy, but I, I did find that I like using uh, the bag because it's predictable. Yes. And I know when it's gonna whack me because it's not. It doesn't hit back. No, it no. doesn't. You want to talk about getting to know, what, you know, knowing whether or not you're out of shape or not? Come here. These guys will will whip you right into shape. Uh, what is your what is your place called? It's Hidden Valley Mixed Martial Arts, also known as Hidden Valley Judo and Jiu Jitsu Dojo here in Sandy, Utah. Perfect. Yeah, and all that information will be linked in the description box below. But uh, what got you into this? What, what made you want to open up a dojo? You know what? Um, I really would never thought about opening up a dojo, but one day um, you know, I was in a class and I started looking around and I felt as though it wasn't a place that I would want my family to train at or my my children to train at. So I wanted to find a place that I could actually have, a place that actually has a family atmosphere, a place that feels safe, and a place that that, that, that you can actually train. And I couldn't find it, so I decided to open one myself. And that's how it is. Everybody here is family. Everybody's here to help each other. You know, we don't have any egos that are 
that are outstanding. So, you know, we're gonna have <laughs> that are outstanding. <laughs> yeah, we'll put it that outstanding. way. It's not outstanding. I don't want anybody to enjoy what you know. It's, it's a good place to train, to learn, and to grow. How long have you guys been here? We've been here in this location. We've been here for seven years. We were at our last location for five in Draper. So, it's really cool. So I saw a lot of people when they were like moving the floor, they were bowing. What, what were they actually doing? Okay, so when you enter the, the matted area or the training area, you bow to respect the area that you're training in and also the people that you're training with. So there's nothing holistic, there's nothing religious about it. It's just, just respect. Okay. For your training area. Oh, because we're saying goodbye, make sure we bow. So if you're like, you're thankful for being there and you're thankful that you didn't get killed on the mat. I'm very thankful for that. How many times have I need to bow? <laughs> that's amazing. Anytime you walk in and off, that's about it. Perfect. And you know we like to take care of our Thai fam, so what specials are you willing to offer? You know what? For you guys and your and your uh, your YouTube family, we'll go ahead and offer one dollar down to start in your first week for free. So wow. come in and do all the training you want. You can do your Muay Thai, boxing, self-defense, conditioning, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Judo, Koshiken, Karate. We have everything here for your entire family. Children, adults, teens. We have a great program. That's amazing. That's really one, cool. Thank you. One, you can't beat that, guys. At least come and try it out. Like It is a yeah. workout. All you have to do is mention that you watched the Think It's Easy video. Easy peasy. So if you like the video, make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I mean, come on, it's free. Might as well, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching.